What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina and we're headed down to the lake. We're actually gonna do some more historical diving out in front of our marina. Um, if you've seen the video in the past, and I'll link it up here for you, um, we dove on an old family plot, which was my great, great, great grandfather's Isaac Avery Stafford's property. And we've brought up stuff from there. Uh, but what we're looking for today is actually one of the original ferry systems that crossed the lake. And it, even before it was a lake, in the early, early 1920s, when it was just a river, they had a, a cable-driven ferry system that took the old horse and buggies across the, the river. And even after the Duke Pyre Company had dammed up the lake, those ferry systems were still left there. So we've got maps, and I'll show you a picture real quick of the map. And what you're looking at here is basically uh, the point of our marina here. You'll see the old family plot here, but this, this red line right here is actually the, the ferry track line. And so what we're gonna do, or the roadbed leading to the ferry track line, and what we're gonna do is actually go down that roadbed into in, about 65 foot of water, give or take, and try to either find the original landing area or possibly try to find the ferry. Now, last summer we were actually hired to go look for the ferry, and even though our family never owned it, uh, we just hosted the property for the ferry. The gentleman whose ancestor owned the ferry actually hired us to go try to find it. So we've been doing a ton of research over the last year to try to find out was it pulled out, uh, did it sink or whatnot, but we've got some good intel now that hopefully is still gonna be underwater. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, we did find an original deed where the ferry was sold out. And on the deed, it showed exactly where the landing was, which we've got it on the map. And, you know, thankfully it connects into our ancestors' old property. So we're gonna go out today. We're gonna run a nav heading out. Hopefully we'll come across, maybe find something, an old docking port, find wood from the ferry, or maybe find the ferry itself. But hopefully we'll do good. Come along with us and we'll see what we get into. Yep. We're going to go down this pole, fall in line to the platform, to the tree, and then we'll kind of go diagonal 200, let's say 240 degrees is the heading. Yep. Okay. Oh.
All right, guys, so we just got finished up, and basically what we did is we determined, based off the map, what degree heading on our compass we needed to follow, and we went out to a certain point where we hit a 65-foot depth, which is where we kind of guesstimated that the original landing area for the ferry was. Now, as soon as we hit that 65-foot depth, we actually started coming across some more structures. Now, according to the map that we used, there's no other structures in that particular area in, in that depth, so could it possibly be the landing or part of the ferry that we come across? This piece of the wood right here was actually a lot wider and longer than what I brought up. It, part of it broke off as we were kind of investigating around it there. So we decided to bring it up and look at it. And I'm not sure at this point if it's a piece of siding, an old piece of wood siding, or maybe it is part of a beam off the ferry or maybe just part of a dock or something like that. But we found several good pieces of it that were extended out, real wide pieces that would be consistent with maybe planks of the ferry or something like that, or maybe even planks of the dock. But either way, we did mark the location. We know exactly how to get back to it. So we're gonna plan several more series of dives out to there to just kind of do a search of the area to see what we come up with. And who knows, we may have just found the old ferry here off our family's plot. But guys, I really appreciate you coming on this dive with us. If you got any questions, put it down in the comment section below. If you like this style of video, hit that like button for us. Drop us a comment. Tell us what you want to see in the future. But guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.